Hi everyone and welcome to a video on winch rigs. So this is all about the different types of winch rig you can put together if you've got one or zero snatch blocks. So before we get into the types of rigging we've got to explain mechanical advantage. So imagine here that we've got a weight and it's on the end of a rope. We are going to take in one meter worth of rope and of course naturally that weight will rise by one meter, pretty straightforward. And also for one, every one kilogram of force we put into effort of pulling it up, then one kilogram is raised. It's a one to one. So our mechanical advantage there is one to one. One meter of rope in, one meter of weight moving up. Now, if we put a pulley on it or a snatch block, then things change a bit. So if we take in that single meter, you can see there that um, that meter of take in of rope actually is half a meter on both lines there and what that means is that the weight only rises half a meter even though we've taken a meter of rope but that's got an advantage because half a kilogram of effort gives us one kilogram of force and um, but it does mean for every meter of rope you take in the weight only moves up by about half a meter now mechanical advantage or MA is all about trading off the distance and speed for reduced effort to move and whilst I've put in here that um, it's exactly one to one because there's some friction in the pulley block it's not precisely half to one but it's close enough and that's what we'll run with for the rest of the video so the first one is pretty simple it's a single line pull we've got a stuck vehicle here and we've got an anchor point we just run a winch line straight out to it now we're going to assume that the vehicle takes a force of a thousand kilograms to move now the correct term is newtons but I'm going to run with kilos because that's what people can kind of relate to it um, and therefore there's also simply a thousand kilograms on the anchor point now this gives us a speed of one and an MA of one one by speed of one what I mean is that for every meter of line the winch pulls in the vehicle moves one meter forwards and for every kilogram of force the winch produces there's one kilogram of force um, which actually moves the vehicle forwards now we can also put a um, hand winch there that a turf style or high lift whatever else and the principle is exactly the same so that's a solo vehicle it's simple and easy one meter of line in car moves one meter and one kilogram of effort is one kilogram of force moving the car now we come to a double line pull. So again we've got the stuck vehicle, we've got an anchor point and we run a line up to the anchor point but this time we put it around a type of pulley called a snatch block and run it down to the vehicle. Now again the vehicle takes a thousand kilograms to move, so that's its stuck force and there's a thousand kilograms on the anchor but because the force is suspended over two lines you can kind of imagine the vehicle literally hanging in the air off two lines there. There's only 500 kilograms of force on each line. So what that means is that the speed is half and the MA is 2.1. So what that means is that for every meter of line taken in the vehicle only moves half a meter paid off there now I'm also assuming 0% friction loss on the pulley that's not the case it's going to be between sort of um, 8 and 30 percent depending on what sort of pulley um, you have but for the purposes of keeping it simple we're going to run with 0% all right now we're going to come to the redirect now again we've got stuck vehicle Again, we've got an anchor point, run it up to the um, anchor point, snatch block, but this time we're going to anchor it offset. Now, we've got a thousand kilograms of stuck force again, as always, but we've got 2,000 on the anchor point, which seems kind of weird until you look at it this way. There's a thousand kilograms in that line there, and there's a thousand there. And that's why you're actually doubling the um, force on the anchor point here. Now, there's actually no mechanical advantage with this whatsoever. For every meter of line you pull in, the vehicle will move one meter forwards, and um, for every effort, so every kilogram of effort then that's only going to be a kilogram of force on the vehicle so there's no real point to this but um, it's important to understand because it's important um, later on okay now we come to a single line static pull so there's a stuck vehicle again but this time it's not going to winch itself we're going to get a different vehicle to winch it so we run the winch line out and that's pretty straightforward so again thousand kilograms of force required to move thousand generated on the winch vehicle simple and easy and again speed is one one to one meter in uh, meter of winch line taken in vehicle moves a meter mechanical advantage one to one winching facing downhill you often need to secure your car one easy way to do that is just 
simply to dig some small holes for the front wheels, fill them in afterwards, or you can attach the back of your winch car to a tree with an anchor point like this. Now we've got a double line static car anchor. So again, here's the stuck vehicle. There's um, a recovering vehicle. We run a winch line out, comes back, and straight back to the other vehicle. Again, a thousand kilograms there, thousand there, and 500 and 500. Now here, um, because the vehicle's weight, and again, you can think of this as the yellow stuck vehicle being suspended in the air, um, that's suspended by two lines, there's 500 in each, so we do have our mechanical advantage of two to one there. So this is what you use when you need more force or to re reduce your winch load more often, or you just want a lower speed. Now we've got a double line static offset anchor now it looks like this so we run the winch line out again we turn it back and but this time we um, attach it to an anchor which is not the vehicle. Now we've got a thousand kilograms as always there but this time we've only got 500 there and 500 there and you're going well hang on the previous one didn't have that it was like um, you know we doubled the force on the anchor. Look at it this way Imagine that that yellow vehicle is suspended, hanging down, and you've actually got the line, the force in it, split over two lines. That's why it's only 500 for each, whereas in the previous example, number three, um, then it was all on one line. So what we've got here is, uh, again, mechanical advantage of two to one. Um, the really important point about this though is that you actually reduce your anchor load because rather than having the full thousand kilograms trying to pull the winch vehicle downwards or towards the stuck vehicle, you're actually splitting it across um, the anchor point and the stuck vehicle. And that's really handy when you're winching on um, terrains where it's fairly slippery, for example, facing downhill. Now we've got a redirect static. So this is where, again, um, we've got a uh, anchor point, we run out a winch line and we just take it straight back to the stuck vehicle there. Again, a thousand kilograms required to move, thousand there and two thousand there. Now that's not exactly a 180 degree angle, so it should be a bit less, but again, for simplicity, I'll just round it up. Now this is actually pointless from a mechanical advantage perspective. In fact, you actually lose um, energy because you, you're running through the, uh, the, the pulley and that uh, generates some friction loss. But it's really handy for when you can't face the vehicle, um, you are pulling and so for example, I tend to use this a lot when I'm pulling another car up a hill, if I'm further up the hill or even if I'm not, then I can run a winch line out to a tree, run it back and then I don't need to turn my car around and my car's not going to be pulled down, down the hill. Now, because you're pulling out a lot of rope, that does to some extent offset the friction loss in the pulley as well. The more layers of rope you have on your winch drum, the greater the effective diameter and the less it can pull. Okay, now we're going to look at manual winching. So again, we've got an anchor point, um, there's our stuck vehicle, we're going to use a manual winch this time. So we can run the line up to a snatch block, back down to the winch, and then if it's a turf winch you can have something hanging out at the end. If it's a high lift jack you just shorten the whole lot as required as it gets shorter there. And then we run that up to the anchor point. So 1000 kilograms as always there, 1000 kilograms on the anchor point and 500 each there. So for every half kilogram of force or of effort you put in, there'll be one kilogram of force moving that stuck vehicle, which is often exactly what you want. Now this is not my favorite setup, up, I actually prefer to do it a slightly different way, I'm going to demonstrate that now, which is, there's our stuck vehicle, there's an anchor point, there's our winch, we run it um, a line out, put it around a snatch block, back to the winch, and then back to the anchor point again, and we connect up the stuck vehicle to the snatch block. Now that has exactly the same effect, we've got our 1000 kilogram force required there, 1000 kilogram at the anchor, 500 and 500, and again we've got a mechanical advantage. Now it's, there's no difference at all to the previous one, except that this time you don't need to move, you're not close to the stuck vehicle. Generally when the vehicle's stuck, what you find is that um, it's in mud or it's some, and you don't necessarily want to be that close to it. Here you can put yourself a long way away at the anchor point and still get that um, same mechanical advantage. 
Okay, so that is the nine winch rigs. There they all are. And um, I hope that this video has been of use to you. Please subscribe to my channel for more content on four-wheel drive cars, towing, and whatever else I can find interesting.